Hey everyone, so this is Dr. Lowell Sella once again of NYC Emerging Healthcare Technology, your go-to place if you want to learn more about blockchain, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, and web development in healthcare. And more importantly, if you want to learn more about digital health. So today I'm very excited because I'm going to help you, especially if you're a healthcare practitioner, a nurse, a physician, a, a EMT specialist, or an ECG specialist. I'm going to help you create your own website. So this is what the web website is going to look like as you can clearly see so we are actually live so there's a video here of, of, of two surgeons for example if you're a neurosurgeon you can have your own video put it in your website and then uh, make it more engaging especially for the patients so if you can see this website there's my name for example Dr. Lowell Zala and then there's a short description of you and your specialty for example so Dr. Zala is a digital health specialist was trained in St. Luke's College of Medicine and then after that that, there's a start here button once if you click you'll be sent to a welcome to my website uh, page and in this page you can see at the background the color actually changes so this is something that you know uh, simple CSS HTML and CSS can actually do so you don't actually need a JavaScript framework for this one so a simple CSS can actually already make your website a uh, home more engaging especially for your patients so that your patients mm -hmm. will visit your website so upon clicking back for example you will be sent back to the original to the index website now if you haven't subscribed please make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you will be able to hear and see every time i upload a new video also don't forget to like if you like the content of this video so that i can go on creating more content especially in digital health so with that let us now go and create this fascinating and website for for your uh, practice all right so right now uh, our page is practically blank so this is just your google uh search or your google url so this is practically a, a blank page so or a tabula rasa if you wanna uh, put it that way in a more uh what's this artistic <laughs> sense so the first thing that we are going to do is uh go uh, create a directory so we write mkdir and then let's just say html and then after creating the directory we change directory and then we go inside html and then once inside html we are just going to create your uh full uh, not folders we're going to create your file so just say touch index.html and index.css so now once you've created so you already have your files you just write code code and then period uh, which upon typing you will be able to now open using your um, visual studio code so for those of you who have not uh what's this started or do not know what visual studio code is so you just go to so it's it's just uh it's just an editor actually so visual studio code is a free um open source editor which is made by microsoft for windows linux and mac os so uh, whatever a uh, platform that you're using you can uh, what's it, their laptop uh, you're using whatever uh, hard drive you're using you can still use your visual studio code so what you do if you don't if you still don't have your visual studio code just download your visual uh, studio code now the next uh, so we now have our uh, what's this our website so if you can see right now it's not existent yet it's you already have two files now your index and your um, index.html and your index.css so the next uh, thing that you are going uh, to do is to download your your video so uh, right now I'm going with uh, pexels.com so it's really up to you um, whatever what's this whatever uh, website that you can get your videos for free so with with this video actually this video was made by Andre Kinevsky so um if if you are using his videos if you're downloading this video just make sure 
to uh, say thanks to Andre because you know we want to give uh, what's this we want to give credit where credit is due so in order to if you want to say thanks to Andre uh, who, who, who created this uh, video you can show your appreciation by donating tweeting and following so which I did so you can donate through PayPal and also with Instagram so yeah if you don't have uh, what's this if if you don't have your own video and you want to use uh, another person's video that for free make sure to to give thanks to, to say thank you to these creators because you know they uh, they've made a lot of time and effort actually to to make these videos so but if you are the type if you are the if you are uh, for example if you already have your own video uh, especially for healthcare related videos make sure that you have consent especially if you are making a video of, of for example a uh, 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 surgical procedures neurological procedures or you know like uh, colostomy for example all this this uh, uh, all this uh, surgical procedures make sure that you have consent especially with with your patients because not only is it you know illegal but it's also unethical it's it's hard enough you know in exposed uh, persons uh, private parts or private parts so to speak right uh, in 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 online or or what's this um, in your website but if you're if you're the only one person who's in that video then then no need to actually ask permission just make sure that there's no copyright with with all the videos that you are using so we go now we go back to our uh, what's this to our um uh, file so the next thing that we're going to so we already were able to download the video so the next thing that we are going to do is create a folder with the word images so in this uh image uh what's this folder we can just uh reveal it in fire explorer so we already have uh the the the, the video so what we can do is just uh copy this video and then we are going to put it inside your images folder so so it's there now so if you look closely at your video editor you can see that the images now contains one mp4 uh, file which is your search.mp4 so we can go now and start uh, coding for for our website so the we are just going to close this one so what we are going to do also close this one and so just write doc just close also this one and this one and what we are going to do is write doc and it will be automatic and we can write the title for this one as let's just say my own one <laughs> my own website then just uh, save it and then afterwards for the body what we are going to do is just write a uh, video then sometimes it's automatic but we're not going to do that in fact we're going to write auto play and then uh, muted so if you're using Chrome for example it usually it's automatically muted because as much as possible you don't want all the what's this to to complicate your website just imagine you know you're on this website you're just if, for example if you're a patient and you just click the website and there's all these voices coming in you no know? so it's 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 not very uh, it's not good practice to actually have uh, what's this uh, to have uh, I mean you know it's it's a good practice actually to, to mute uh, whenever you have videos uh, what's this online so and then you make sure that there's a loop in it so that the the, the video was just keep on looping and then uh, I'm going to add something interesting here like an ID for example it's up to you if you want to put an ID into the video but I just want to be uh, particular and then uh, what you do is you go you write source for this one and for the source you have your SRC uh, the source here would be your images so this is where we're getting the video from so images slash search mp4 and then uh, we're going to have to write uh, so what type of video it is if it's uh, let's say uh, mp4 so it's a video slash mp4 so just to be uh, correct and the next part is really creating your div class so div just write um, 
class just write content and then the next part is just write h <clears throat> i'm a little uh so this but i have no cough so so uh, h1 uh, just write uh, your name for example dr lowell l sala and then afterwards you're gonna write the p and then for the p you're just gonna write uh dr uh lowell l uh, dr sala is let's just say is a uh digital health specialist uh who finished medicine at St. Luke's College of Medicine. So it's it's uh, did I spell it correct correctly? So it's really uh, up to you. If you're, for example, a uh, what's this a surgeon or a internist, then you can uh, write, for example, Doctor. Uh, uh, your name, example of Dr. Velasquez, for example, Viva, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm giving you an exam example here, I'm using your name as an example here. Uh, so, for example, Dr. Velasquez is a surgeon uh, or, or a surgeon a specialist at uh, St. Luke's Medical Center. So, you can, you, can do, you can do that, you can write that. And then afterwards, you're going to write the, uh, what's this, the A, the HREF, and this is where we're going to write the start, right, the start here. So href, we just write another for a second the HTML, which is your second um, what's this file, and then so what we're going to do next is create a second file, which is your second dot HTML. So now that you have your second, but not under images, so you have to put it outside. Okay, so we're putting it outside. So just write, this is the second page. So for the second page, just save and then just write H2, for example, um, welcome. And then we're going to write center here because we want to be centered. The A would be, uh, this would be your uh, index that html and then you're just gonna write uh, back okay so hopefully that works let's go to did we forget something so of course we have to write your index.css first so i already made a copy of the index.css and if you wanna have a, what's this, a copy of this um, a code just click the like button and you know uh what's this make sure you click the like button and you know uh, email me uh, i'm going to send it to you and also i'm going to add the links to all the other tutorials that you can actually do too so you can you can use uh i use uh w3 schools which is uh, one of the interesting uh which is tutorials that you can use uh if if you're a newbie for example uh, a noob for example you can use it and then um create your own websites just based on on those uh template forms so we just save this one and then the next part is really connecting your index uh that's html with your index.css so it's so simple you just add link and then uh okay you just write index.css and the next part is going through uh your second at html make sure you also make a link css and you just write let's say uh index that css because we're using the same css um uh, file uh yeah C uh, css file so what do we do now so we go to open it with our live server and let's hope and pray that it works so we open our live server and voila, you know, so we already have your name here, your, uh, what's this, your short description on yourself, like the precise digital health specialist of finished medicine at the Intox College of Medicine. And then once you click here, it will send you back to your, uh, what's this, to your second page. So I think there's an error somewhere here. Let's see, where's the error here? So second at HTML and then 
you just have to find something you just oh because we need to put this in a wrapper so it should be in div cut sorry cut it and then you add your class then wrapper okay so let's do that let's see what's gonna happen and voila so you already have your uh, second page as you can see the background changes its color so the, the, the code for this the final code for this one is actually in the link below so make sure to click that like button and uh, I'm going to send you uh, what's this um, the, the, the code if you ask for it but we have to make this look nice so let's just do a BR make it look you know nice there's some break in it it moves so slowly because of the uh what's this the live server so okay so three more one more okay and then okay so Okay, wait for it and then save. So it's actually quite fast. You don't need to, what's this, re uh, restart it or something. Okay, so this is uh, the website right now. So you can clearly see now your name. Uh, you don't have to uh, reload it. You can clearly here see now your name and your uh, uh, a short description about yourself. And then once the your patients, for example, click here, you'll be able to be sent to this welcome uh, page. And then the the colors of the background changes, which is uh, again uh, interactive. If you uh, what's this for your patients uh, to to see. So these are just some examples of uh, web development and just some of the things that I can do. Um, and I want you know I want you to be able to do as well. So with that, I want to thank you once again for listening to my video listening to my website and if you haven't subscribed please make sure to click the subscribe button and like this video and also tell your friends about this video so thank you once again and i hope you have a good day